Hello, my secure transaction students. This is going to be a short video, short and sweet, about a distinct uh, part of our syllabus on statutory liens. Statutory liens, um, that is 9333 of the UCC, uh, and it is part of assignment 12. Um, it's, and we will do problem 98 before you head into the uh, world of fixtures. So what are statutory liens? What are statutory lien holders? Let's start with the law. Oh, it's a good place to start. And uh, here we have 9333, priority of certain liens arising by operation of law. Okay. Uh, in this section, a possessory lien means an interest other than a security interest. So it's something other than a classical security interest, but it is a, a kind of a lien. So it is a claim on property, on personal property. And uh, the term that's going to be used is possessory lien, statutory lien, same thing, but we, uh, the term of art is possessory lien. That's something other than a security interest which secures payment or performance of an obligation for services or materials furnished with respect to goods by a person in the ordinary course of the person's business. So uh, a, a possessory lien holder is going to be some, a service provider, someone that provides services or materials or furnishes materials uh, with respect to goods. So it has to involve the service of goods or the provision of goods. And it has to be in the ordinary course of business. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, this possessory lien, this non security interest lien, uh, has to be created by a statute. There has to be a particular black letter law creating this type of possessory lien. Uh, and it has to uh, require possession, is another part. And if you do all those things, you're a possessory lien and uh, lien holder. And if you're a possessory lien holder, you are golden. Why is that? Because under 9333B, you get the priority rule. So if you have a secured party versus a possessory lien holder, who wins? This tells you. A possessory lien on goods has priority over security interest, okay? Unless the law states otherwise. But the rule is a possessory lien has priority over any security interest. So it's good to be a lien holder. Now, what, what exactly are these possessory liens? Um, you've heard about them before. Uh, they are mechanics liens, generally, or artisan liens. Uh, and uh, they are based on statutes. There's a mechanics lien statute in the state of Ohio uh, that grants a lien to a mechanic if the mechanic is not paid for car repairs and the mechanic still has possession of the car. So as the mechanic has possession of the car, uh, it's, it's allowed to keep the car. It has a lien on it and can eventually dispose of it and uh, recoup its losses if it comes to that. Um, so that's one example, an artisan's lien. It might be um, maybe you uh, give, um, let's say a painting to an artisan who uh, restores the fine painting and reframes it. Um, and you owe them certain installments as they're working on this long project uh, and you don't pay them these installments. Uh, there might be a law that, that uh, protects those people and they're able to hold on to the painting and eventually dispose of it to cover their losses. Um, another uh, interesting one is the innkeeper's lien. Um, this is a, a statute that allows hoteliers, uh, people that, that uh, own hotels, to keep your luggage uh, if you haven't paid your hotel bill. They'll, they have a right under the statute to go into your room, uh, take your luggage and personal belongings, and lock them away, and eventually dispose of them if you don't pay the bill. Interesting, huh? Um, so that's what we're talking about. Um, you know, not all of these liens exist everywhere and there are all kinds of variations. So uh, <clears throat> we're not going to look at, in any depth at the Ohio mechanics lien law, but we will do this problem. Um, let me 
look at the book. Here we go. Yes, the Repossession Finance Company. This is problem 98. The Repo Finance Company, RFC, had a perfected security interest in Hattie's, Hattie Mobile's car. Okay. And the lien was noted on the certificate of title, which perfects the security interest. Good. So Repo Finance Company had a perfected security interest in the car. The car broke down on the interstate one day and Hattie had it towed to Mike's Grease Pit Garage. Uh oh, it sounds like a mechanics lien, where it was repaired. Now, state law gave a possessory artisan's lien to repair persons. The garage told Hattie it was claiming such a lien. But when she pleaded with the manager, he let her drive the car to work after she assured, assured him that she would return the car to the garage for storage every night. Fortunately, she lived across the street. Okay. Uh, repossession, uh, the, the bank that loaned her the money for this car or has security interest in it. Uh, repossession found out about this practice and deeming itself insecure, accelerated the amount due and repossessed the car from the parking lot in front of Hattie's place of business. Okay, uh, very good. So uh, yes, uh, under certain contracts, if it's in the contract, you can accelerate payment if you're feeling insecure, if you're feeling like the, the person is in dire financial straits, so you wanna demand your, your money up front. Um, and uh, <clears throat> apparently she wasn't able to pay it. And so then that triggers a default and the right to repossess her car. <clears throat> so um, she took it out of the mechanic's uh, garage uh, during the work day and parked it uh, where she worked and, and repossession went and repossessed it there. Now the question is which creditor has a superior interest in the car under 9333? Um, well, it would depend really on the statute as it was written, the mechanics lien. But Ford V, Friar, okay. 6210, App, 572, 465, S. Do something. Okay. Um, uh, where was I now? Uh, it would depend on how the, how the uh, statute was written, but it's going to require possession as part of it. Um, and the fact is, is that the mechanic has given up possession. And while the mechanic doesn't have possession, they will not be protected by this law and will not be able to enforce the mechanic's lien. Uh, and so repossession finance would win. Um, but while it's in the possession and the statute is triggered and the, the garage, the mechanic gets the protection of the mechanic's lien, uh, <clears throat> then repo cannot take it from them. Then they have the better claim to the car. Um, here we go. Uh, if the car had been in Mike's possession when the conflict arose, would it matter under 9333 that the finance company never gave its consent to the repairs? Uh, well, that doesn't matter. There's nothing, you don't give consent. You don't have to give consent to repairs. Um, that doesn't enter into it. Uh, C, once Mike uh, released the car to Hattie, did its lien reattach whenever she returned it to the garage? Probably, but again, it, it depends on it, how the statute is written, but it probably says as long as the mechanic is in possession and it, of the car and is owed money for repairs done on the car and those uh, payments have, and those obligations have gone unpaid, that they have a right to keep the car. So they probably retain or um, get their status back uh, every time she returns the car, yes. Okay, so that's really, I promised you it was going to be short and sweet and uh, it was. And uh, now we'll do a couple of throwback videos uh, regarding fixtures, so enjoy. <laughs> 